Hello, this is Jim Brogdon from Atlanta, Georgia. In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to connect to a database with Crystal Reports 2008. This tutorial is for the Report of Palooza campaign and it's challenge number 3 of 5 titled Lessons from Reporting Maestro. Alright, so to get started, let's go ahead and launch Crystal Reports. And let's create a blank report. And we'll connect to a database. So to get started, click Database and select Database Expert. You'll see from the list of objects we have many different possibilities for connecting to a database as Crystal Report supports more than a hundred different types of data sources. This includes traditional database data warehouse sources such as SQL Server, Teradata, Oracle, DB2. You can also con connect to OLAP or multi-dimensional reporting services. Among the most common are ODBC, OLADB, and my personal favorite, Business Objects Universe. So let's take a look at ODBC. If you select the plus symbol to the left of the ODBC folder, it'll launch a list of local data source names already been set up on your PC. But if you need to connect to a, data, to a database where you do not have a data source name, you'll need to create that locally. To do that, click Start, go to Control Panel. If you're using Windows XP like me, you'll select Performance and Maintenance, and then go into the Administrative Tools, and select Data Sources ODBC. Launch that and go to the System DSN tab. This is a list of the current data sources on my PC now. I'm currently connected to four Microsoft Access databases, these four drivers listed, and two for MySQL. You can configure any of these that already exist or you can add a new one. Click Add and you scroll through the list of drivers on the PC. And if we wanted to connect to a SQL Server database, we just select SQL Server and click Finish. Give it a name for your data source name, a uh, brief description, and then connect to that server. And that's it. Once you have a data source name, then you can use it in Crystal Reports. So let's go back to Crystal and we'll, we'll see it we would have seen it in this list if one would have been created. So let's take a look at connecting to a universe. We can double click make new connection or we can go ahead and select a connection that's already been made. Let's double click make new connection and this launches a list of universes that I'm already connected to. And since I have Business Objects XI 3.1 installed right here on this laptop I can connect to just the demo universes, like Island Resorts Marketing. Let's open that up and just take a look. Now what this will launch is a Business Objects Query Panel that will allow you to drag and drop objects into the Result Objects section or into the Query Filter section. This generates a SQL statement in the background that will be passed to the database and runs the query for you. Select OK and now you've created this source move it over to the selected tables there to the right click OK and now to get the data onto the report you just expand the database fields in your field explorer right click select insert to report or just drag and drop objects onto the screen we're still in design mode because the report hasn't been refreshed just click refresh and the report comes back. So the benefit of connecting to a business objects universe is that the universe can be pointing to any sort of database. Anything from Teradata, SQL Server, Oracle, DB2. It's just a quicker way to connect. Here's business objects universe and shows the how the parameters and the parameters the, the where you make the connection. So that's how you connect to a database in Crystal Reports. Thank you for watching and please continue to tune in to Report of Palooza.